What's up? What's happening? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Animation Station, your number one stop destination, and welcome to the grand finale of Morphin May. The tier lists of the seasons. I know I said I would do something different for the theme songs, but unfortunately, I'm running out of time, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to skip that. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and just get right into it. You guys know how tier lists work by now, so let's just go through the tiers. First up, we have the God tier. You know, top of the top, cream of the crop, however you pronounce, however you want to define that. Then below that, we have Morphin Master for this for the legit great seasons. Then we have Battleizer for the good seasons that aren't super good, but just good enough. And then Goldar for the seasons that are just okay. Rita's Dumpster for the bad seasons. And then Shadow Realm for the absolute most abysmal, horrible garbage. So We have 26 seasons of Power Rangers to get through. I'm not counting. Yeah, why is that in there? Why the heck? I'm just going to have to roll with it. I'm not going to include Hyperforce, because it's not even a show, it's a tabletop adventure game online thing, so we're not going to talk about that. So let's go ahead and just get right into the list, starting with the first show that started all Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Hmm. I don't like Season 2 at all, I gave that one a 5, but... I did give a 7 to Season 1 and an 8 to Season 3, so that all balances it out to about... I think I gave it a 7. Yeah, I gave it a 7, so that puts it in the Battleizer tier. It's good, but it's very middle of the pack. It's the one that started all, it's the most iconic, but... Nowadays, it's just very cheesy. Then we have Alien Rangers, the little weird 10-episode finale of Mighty Morphin. And I called it a fascinating anomaly, and it still is a fascinating anomaly. It's going in Battleizer. Because it's decent. It's a weird, fascinating little side series that also ends up connecting into the main series. So, yeah. I don't hate Alien Rangers. I enjoy watching it, but it's definitely... Not great. Then moving on after that was Zio. Where the heck is Zio in this super scattered list? Zio. There's Zio. Zio was awesome. Zio's the first great tier season. It was absolutely phenomenal and outstanding. And it did everything it needed to to improve on Mighty Morphin. Like, Zio is a phenomenal season. Only held back by its villains kind of being hit or miss. Like, take that out, you would have a pretty much a god tier season. It's a nine. It was a nine out of ten. It earned its nine out of ten. You know, it didn't earn a nine out of ten. Turbo. It's trash. Right in the shadow realm with you, you pile of garbage. Next is in space. I mean. Do I even have to say where this one goes? I wasn't shy in my review about how much I love this season and how it literally saved the franchise from getting axed. So, yeah, sorry, I'm flying through these because I want to get this done quick so I can get done my part of the review of Spider-Man 3. So, I'm going to fly through these pretty quick. But, in space, I mean, it's already been talked and praised to high heaven and it deserved every single bit of that praise. It is a fantastic season of Power Rangers. And stop crapping on the Ninja Turtles crossover episode. It's fun. Moving on, we have Lost Galaxy, which kind of serves as an epilogue to In Space, but at the same time, its own thing. It's weird. But it's definitely a 7 out of 10. I'd probably put it about... Put there. Top of Battleizer tier. It is a very good, solid, strong season of Power Rangers to follow off of In Space, but it's nowhere near as good as In Space, and they waste the whole Lost Galaxy concept. 
following that was Lightspeed Rescue. And this is another season that falls into just the decent category, the good category. But put it probably... I'm gonna put it, you know, I'll put it above the Iron Rangers, I'll put it there. Lightspeed Rescue gets a little too much flack, but it's not an awful season. It has awful villains, but the Ranger cast is likable. I really like the suit designs, and I like how it tried to go for a more military-themed Power Rangers, which is something we don't get to see as often as we should. Like, it's a fun, it's a very interesting and unique concept that they sadly just don't do a whole lot, especially nowadays. But yeah, it's unique, it's interesting, and I love this cast of Rangers, especially Carter Grayson being one of the most badass Red Rangers ever. But the villains really just drag it down. The villains suck. I'm not even going to try to sugarcoat that. Okay, what came after that? Let me look through here. Uh, oh, I just realized it didn't separate Samurai, Mega Force, and Dino Charge from their super seasons. Oh well. We'll just have to guess it all as a whole then. Um, I think next after that would go... I think after that it's Time Force, right? Yeah, it's Time Force. Time Force is great. We all know it's great. This shouldn't be a surprise to any of you that it is so great. But I think Zio is still better. But Time Force is still a phenomenal season, and it's earned every single bit of praise it's gotten. You know what hasn't? Wild Force. Painfully average boar fest with one great episode. Well, okay, two great episodes if you count the crossover with Time Force. But outside of that, it is a painfully average boring season that really just wastes a lot of potential. Like, just no thank you. Ninja Storm is great. I'll put it there. Yeah, about there seems appropriate. I love Ninja Storm. I love its laid-back vibes. I love the Ranger team. I love Dustin. I love the fights. And while Lothor is an awful villain, I feel like he's awful on purpose because this season is very mostly lighthearted and silly. So it, le it fully leans into it. And I feel like the laid-back vibes and the surfer rock really helps amplify that. Like, this isn't a season you're meant to take too seriously. It's more just to be good old campy fun. And I feel like Ninja Storm does a great job with that. And then there's Dino Thunder. I literally did a 40 minute long video explaining to you how much I love this season and every single thing this thing did right. So I'm not even going to attempt to try and summarize it here. All you need to know is that it's the greatest Power Rangers season ever made and will never ever be topped. That's all I got. Moving on. Following Dino Thunder was SPD, which wasn't nearly as good, but I still really liked it. Um, I think I gave it, did I give it an 8 or a 9? Shoot, I don't remember. Uh, 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 uh shoot. I don't remember if I gave it an, well, I, I know it's in the great tier. But I think, I, I think I put Time Force above it. I don't know, I'll have to relook at my ranking later, but yeah. SPD is a great season, and it feels like Dino Seasons and Space Seasons are what this show does best, and this is no exception to that. It's a space season that's also a police season, so it's kind of like a better version of Lightspeed Rescue with a grander scale. Emperor Grum is a cool character. I love the Ranger cast, especially Sky, who is still... The best Blue Ranger ever of all time. I do not care how many people I take off with that comment. It's the truth. And the villains were creative. And it's just a lot of fun. Not to mention not one but two crossovers with Dino Thunder. In the same season. Yeah, SPD deserves Morphin Master. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't get a lot of hate comments regarding Mystic Force, because so many people love to crap on it. Me personally, though, it has always been one of my top 10 or top 5 favorite seasons of the show. Did I put it above Zio? No, I don't think I put it above Zero, Zio. I did put it over Ninja Storm, though. 
Mystic Force is an awesome season. Yes, the Red Ranger is awful. Yes. <laughs> but get around that. The rest of the cast is likable. I love the magic powers. I love the rest of the cast. I love all the characters. No, I took it. I put it back down there a while ago. White shelf in the drawer. Sorry about that. But yeah, Mystic Force is an awesome season. You guys need to stop crapping on it. Give it another chance. Not only that, Vampire Arc. Need I say more? Alright, following that, I believe was... Yeah, next up was Operation Overdrive. The worst season of Power Rangers. I literally spent half an hour ranting about it. Let's move on. Jungle Fury. I love this season. Straight up, I love this season. Yeah, you, you can sit right there. I'll pull up my actual ranking later because I put it on a dock, but... Right now, I'm just going off of pure memory. And what I remember is Jungle Fury is awesome. Okay, we're almost done. Like I said, I'm flying through these pretty fast. So, Samurai. Um, the first season of Samurai is just decent. And then Super Samurai is really good. I'd say that probably puts it in the middle of the pack. Probably about here. And then there's Megaforce. Me Megaforce was below average. And then Super Megaforce was a slap in the face. But I don't hate it more than these two. It's sitting in Shadow Realm, but... Well, okay. I'll tell you what, I'll be nice. I'll put it in Rita's Dumpster because the first season isn't outright bad. It's just below average. If it weren't for that, though, definitely go in Shadow Realm. Now, Dino Charge is an interesting one because I gave the first Dino Charge season a 9, and then I dropped it all the way down to a 7 when it came to um, Dino Supercharge. So I think for that reason, I'll put it at the bottom of Morphin Master and tell you the actual top 10 list later. Then there's Ninja Steel and Super Ninja Steel. Two seasons that are I gave the exact same score. I gave them both a 7, which means they're both really good. I put them probably about here. I really like Ninja Steel. Oh, whoops, I skipped RPM on accident. My bad. Uh, RPM. I also gave this one a 7. It's a little bit overrated. Well, okay, a little... More than a little overrated, but I'd say it probably falls about probably about there. Then Beast Morphers. Uh, I might have ticked off more than a few people with my review of that, and it's sitting. It's gonna sit bottom of Battleizer. And then I literally just did a video about Dino Fury. This one shouldn't surprise you. This is a 9 out of 10. This is a great season. And I think it made my top 10. I think. Put it there. So yeah, this is pretty much my tier list. But since it doesn't include the Super Seasons, then it's not really quite accurate per se. So I'll tell you what. Give me a minute. Let me use the magical power of editing, and I'll bring up my actual doc ranking of the whole series. Welcome back. Let's continue. So, I brought up the doc that I literally just made today after I finished my Dino Fury review of all the scores I gave each season and my overall ranking of all of them. So, here are the scores. I'll scroll through it nice and slowly so you guys can see it all.
Yeah, the big bulk of it is in the 7 range. Okay, now for the actual ranking. So, this is all 26 actually ranked from worst to best, so. The worst is Operation Overdrive by a mile. Then we have Turbo, Super Mega Force, Mega Force, Wild Force, Alien Rangers, Lightspeed Rescue, Samurai, Beast Morphers, Dino Supercharge, RPM, Super Samurai, Ninja Steel, Super Ninja Steel, Mighty Morphin, Lost, and Lost Galaxy. And then here's my top 10 list. Number 10 is Mystic Force. Number 9 is Ninja Storm. Number 8 is SPD. Number 7 is Jungle Fury. Number 6 is Dino Fury. Number 5 is Time Force. Number 4 is Dino Charge. Number 3 is Zeo. Number 2 is In Space. And number 1 is Dino Thunder. So, yeah, the, uh, the tier list was more than a little bit off, but that wasn't entirely my fault. So, yep, this is my top 10. Mystic Force, Ninja Storm, SPD, Jungle Fury, Dino Fury, Time Force, Dino Charge, Zeo, In Space, and Dino Thunder. Reign Supreme at number one. Which shouldn't surprise a single one of you. It's the only season I gave an 11 to. So. Yep. That's going to do it for this video. That's going to do it for our journey with the Power Rangers. Until we get both Cosmic Fury and Legend of the White Dragon. So. Until then, this is where our Power Rangers adventure ends, and, well, like I said in the other video, it was a lot of work, I'm glad to be done, but it was also a lot of fun, and I'm glad I did it. Because now I got all my thoughts of these seasons out of the way, and I don't have to talk about them in a big format like that again, and from here on out, probably just do an updated tier list whenever every season comes around so yep that's gonna do it for this video that's gonna do it for this month thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time for my review well me and my buddy's review i'm not gonna say who because you guys should have been able to figure it out by now of spider-man 3 until then thank you guys for watching and may the power protect you. And rest in peace to the fallen. Take care guys. Stay more phenomenal.